Oh, hey guys, how the frig's it going today? Well, it's, what day is it today? Is it Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Stand by. Yeah, it's totally Thursday, the 18th, here on Vlogging Life. We gotta do flyer day today, so you guys can watch tomorrow. I have no idea if the flyers are in my mailbox. I didn't really go out yesterday and check the mail. So let's go and do that right now. Uh, she's been extra sucky since Oreo came home. Don't know what's going on. Oh, what are you getting? She normally doesn't come up here, and now she does. She's been really, really, really sucky. But the thing is, is like last night when I went to bed, I left my bedroom door open so the, the animals could come in. She came in, she came on the bed, then Oreo came on the bed, and then she got off the bed and came out here and sat pretty much in this general area and just kept meowing. She was pissed off. Because Oreo was on the bed. She's so mad at Oreo right now, and I don't know why. Are you mad at the puppy wuppy? Scammers. Oh, who's a good girl? <laughs> You're so sucky today. Oh, you want the valley rubs? Oh, your valley rubs. Oh, God, you're so precious. Who's a da boo boo? What? I don't understand you. Nobody does. You're so weird. You're just extra sucky. Uh, she's got so many scabs on her from scratching. <laughs> she's not as long as Felix was, that's for sure. But, uh, mm, scruffy, fluffy, puppy, wuppy. He's not really fluffy or scruffy, he's just a puppy wuppy now. Yep. Anyway, I'm gonna go outside, we're gonna check the mail. And see what the hell's going on. It's friggin' minus 23 out today. Weather dick lied. He said it was gonna be like fucking plus five or some shit. Oh, dryer stopped. That's a good sign. I'm gonna have to kick it over again, probably. Never seems to dry my clothes on the first run, and that's my fault because I always put too much shit in it. Always putting too much shit in the dryer. Holy crap, these shoes are just not cooperating with me. A little tight. Ah. Yeah, you do. Hey, it's pretty new. Oh, yeah, good shit. Oh, yeah, we got flyers. Big time. Frig yeah. What else have we got in here? Anything else? Anything of importance? Like maybe my T4 so I can get my taxes done? Fuck's the shit. Oh, I don't want to get internet. I already got better internet. I already got fiber. I don't need double fiber. Alrighty, let's just say since the dog got shaved, he hasn't been wanting to stay outside very long anymore. But uh, we're going to grab that flyer. Don't care. Overpriced food. Same. i grab no frills. Don't care. Don't care. What fuck was that? Whatever. Anyway. Oh, grab Best Buy. Don't care. Grab Canadian Tire. Don't even know. Giant Tiger sucks. Don't care. Grab Staples. Holy frig, these are cold. I haven't seen Food Basics yet. All right. Those are the flyers we're gonna do. This thing's been sitting outside for probably since yesterday. They're freaking cold on the digits, boys. But, um, got up today at around seven o'clock in the morning. Sat down, had a cup of coffee, made myself some breakfast, had some eggs, bacon, and toast as always. And then I watched SwearNet while doing that. My buddy loaned me his account so I don't have to pay for it. He lets me use it and I get to watch the uh, videos, which is nice. And uh, Tommy a while back, I'd say probably in November, no, probably earlier than that, in October, made uh, needle felt figures. What's a needle felt? 
That's a needle fell right there. That's me when I had my beard. Okay, well he made needle felt figures of the trailer park boys and he sent them off. Well, today they released Mailbag, which is their uh, fan mail show. And they finally featured the needle felts. Now Tommy asked me if I could somehow download it or whatever so he could see it, but they changed the way they do things over there and I can't download it, so whatever. He'll uh, he'll have to fork out four dollars to be able to watch it, and I don't know if he'll be in, if it's really worth it for him to do that because they don't read his letter, which is kind of rude. They don't read the letter he sent. Um, they did like a really short segment with it where Julian tells Bubbles to fuck off, and then uh, Bubbles tells Julian to go fuck yourself. That's about it. And then they cut to the next letter. It was kind of uh, I don't know. It's kind of kind of rude, but kind of funny. But it was I don't know. But yeah, so he they got it. That's that's right on. And yeah, so we got flyer day today. Rex just sent me a message on Facebook. Should probably see what's going on with him, and go from there. Alrighty, well Rex wants to go for coffee, so I'm gonna head out with him there. He's got to work at noon thirty. It's currently nine thirty, so probably won't be out that long. He's gonna have to go home and get ready to go to work and shit. So, on that note, I'm going to head off for coffee with the Rex and probably have a fova because it's probably cold enough outside to have a fova. I don't know, maybe I'll live stream when I come back. Play some more Euro tr or American Truck Simulator with that friggin' awesome F-150 SVT. Demonstrate its horrible driving capabilities. Get your face out of the door. Oh, did the meows? I don't understand her. She's like a completely different cat since Oreo came back. She, it's like she's not sure what the frig he is. <laughs> uh, she probably thinks we got a new dog. Right? She doesn't think you're Oreo anymore. Because you're not Floppy Puppy. You're just Puppy. <laughs> uh, you're so funny. I love how I'm probably the only unemployed person in my neighborhood, but even I remembered Monday was a holiday, therefore garbage will not be picked up today, it'll be picked up tomorrow. Holy shit. She's the brightest frig day of today. Something else I gotta do today is get this car started up and go get some gas. But, uh, Rex said he's gonna come pick me up for coffee, so that works out better. Because, uh, that means I don't have to drive and I can just go for coffee. I got icicles hanging off my car. Nice. I also need to go out and buy more garbage bags because I ran out. So maybe tonight we'll do a run to Walmart or some shit. Scoop that up. After flyer day of course because uh, see what kind of deals are out there. Maybe I'll end up going to a grocery store instead because something delicious might be on sale. And well, food is always good to have. Uh, I had to come back inside. My digits are getting too freaking cold out there. Little change of scenery down here at a different Hortons because we have like 72 of them in town. Alrighty, people, I'm back home. We just had coffee, sat around, talked with Rex. Ugh. I had gas, but there was a gulp in the. <laughs> He's playing with his toy and it looks so cute. Go play with your toy. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's pacing now. Rawr. Bum straight up in the air, face down on the ground. What a puppy. On a lighter note, I just checked the Princess Auto Flyer and they have the uh, Power Fist motors on sale. I know they got the six and a half horse on sale for a hundred bucks, so I want to see if they have the seven horse on sale even though they're pretty much the same, 0.5 of a horse, 196 cc versus... Oh, I got the farts, but there's something in the way. I think it's a turd. But it's like 196 cc versus 206 or some shit like that. Anyway, I want to go to my computer and take a look and see what the prices are of the 7 horse. 
Well guys, you know it's Friday, and Friday, Friday is the day that I like to go through the flyers. So without further ado, it's time for... Flyer Day, Flyer Day, gotta look at sales on Flyer Day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, gotta look at sales on Flyer Day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales, so much sales, love the sales. Alrighty, let's start off with food basics. Scaragus. Oh, we got the eggs on sale again. Gonna have to grab some more. Oh, real bacon, not like that fake shit. That's probably a good deal for pork chops. Oh, they got the college special on sale. Pasta or pasta sauce, 99 cents each. Freaking love this stuff. Yay, fart juice. If it's not butter, then what the heck is it? Uh, that's not pure life, boys. That's water. Get it right. Why in the frig would you want two pogos? Ew, rat on a stick. <laughs> Smoking sausage. Yay, deli ham. Yay, pepperoni cocks. Mmm, chicken strips. <laughs> Yay, mix for my rum. Uh. Yay, Oreo repellent. That's right, he's afraid of thin foil. You want to see Oreo pee out his bum? Give him a can of this. Want to see me pee out my bum? Give me a can of this. Where's my freaking snack pack? Let's move on to Staples. Make more happen. Ew. What in the foot? It's a 10-inch tablet laptop. Specs? Not very many. Processor? Just as not tell inside. It's probably an atom processor. Yup. 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 Bet you suck. Overpriced dash cam. Memory sticks that last about six months. Do your tax with a turbo booster. Look, ma, a chair. It's my cell phone. The only antivirus I know that detects itself as a virus. The Apple lawsuit. Damn, dog. That's a nice monitor. Do people still buy these? At first, I thought it was a crock pot. Now you can be super uncomfortable sitting at your desk. Now moving on to Best Try. I mean, Best Buy. Friggin' all-in-one computers. <clears throat> Yay, $199. Only if you get screwed over on a two-year plan that you can't afford. I like how all these freaking laptops are all copying Apple's design. It's blue! So much power in the power bank, you need two outlets to charge two things same time. Once again, Apple lawsuit. And that's what I was gonna buy instead of that other keyboard I bought, but I like the other one better. I'll never understand why you want to do that with your laptop, but okay. The laptop you buy when you got more money than brains. The Wi-Fi light switch. Because using a regular switch is so 1990s. Bose. Bose. Beats. By Trey. Toshiba. Get yourself a laptop and a guitar at the same damn store, people. Caw, caw. I'm a fucking parrot. Uh, parrots don't caw. If you want videos that look like they were filmed in 2002, get yourself the Canon ELPH350. Amazing sharp resolution that blurries up real good. Mmm, P.I.S. fur. Moving on to no frills. Lower food prices. Oh my god, I should get some of these and totally cook them in the air fryer. Oh, they got the starving students deal here too. The ultimate because you're lonely and you stink package. Yay, more rum mix. Craft dinner. Oh, I can get the dog and cat eat some cookies for cheap. I want all of that in my frying pan. Meow. Sausage. Let's check out the Freshco one, two, three dollar sale. Cause it's cheap, 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 cheap. Oh, they got fart juice and butter on sale. It's not even butter, it's margarine. Paragus. Oh, they also have the starving students deal on, but they also have kidney beans in the deal. So you can make fake chili. Name brand soda for a dollar? That means you can get some real mix. Yay, I love peanut butter that tastes like teddy bears. Old Dutch oven bleach and fabric softener. Aunt Jemima, she makes good pancakes and syrup. Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid, tastes great. Gotta go to the washroom. Too late. Oh, super fry. Jimmy Snooker. Ah, caramel. Ricotta. 
two bucks. Yeah, because whenever I go to the drive-thru, the first thing I think about is a burger in a box. You know, in a pinch, this stuff is actually pretty damn good. Moak. Moak. Well, it says they're country naturals, so they gotta be real, right? Rich people's water. Warning, product may contain meat. Moacker. The one dollar date for a single lady. Now we're gonna move on to Canadian Tire. Hit renew. I'm getting sick of that headline. The entertainment center with a built-in fireplace. Yay. Booster pack. Nice. Castor all edge. I wonder if that's just any good. Now you can buy Tim Hortons at Canadian Tire. Tim Hortons. Yay, bread cookers. You want to buy some pot, man? I guess this is what you buy when you're serious about mopping your floor. Freak sakes, I need some of those. Oh, sicky. You need to get me one of those for my freaking garage door. It's a pooper seat. Sunshine power makers. Rolly sucky. The double handled hole puncher. A pinchy squishy. Fake metal. The car jacker starter kit. Car bouncer. Clamper shoes. Super awesome cock pump. The ex-wife remover. Spinny power induction. Okay, I'll admit I didn't take Flyer Day seriously at all, but wasn't that funnier? Wasn't that better? Me making up different things and stuff? I think I want to do Flyer Day like that from this point on. Just trash talk items and stuff. It's funnier that way. Big time. But on a previous note, I mentioned I was going to take a look at Princess Auto to see the difference in pricing. Um, they have the uh, 6.5 horse engine on for, I think it was 129 or something like that. Regular 189. And they had the 7 horse, which is not on sale, for 199. However, Rex told me that 7 horse goes on sale for 139. We're thinking about going there on Sunday, uh, mainly because we want to go to, um, I can't remember the name of the store. There's another place out there, they sell like motorcycle gear and stuff, and they usually have it discounted this time of year because nobody buys it, it's freaking winter. So we're thinking about going, because I need a full-faced helmet like uh, with the, the visor flippy-uppy guy, and some good riding gloves, preferably a good riding jacket, and well, boots, I can buy that at any given time. And yeah, so I need shit like that for the motorbike, so we're going to go to this... Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Fuck sakes. Anyway, I'm having the biggest brain fart ever. I'm surprised you guys can't hear it. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go there, and then we're going to head over to Princess Auto, and I was going to get the six and a half horse, unless they give me the seven horse for, for the price they normally have it at on sale. Uh, going to get the seven horse then, and that's going to go on black bike. As for the old engine for black bike, uh, one of these days when the weather frigs off, I want to uh, tear that engine apart and take a look inside and see exactly what's broken. Because she's knocking. And I don't know what the hell that means, so I'm going to have to look into it and see what's broken and see if maybe we can rebuild it. I know it's not worth it to rebuild those engines, they're junk. You know what, if it's something stupid, that that's the problem. Because it's leaking oil. Uh, I don't think it was knocking, I think it was just out of oil when it ran. So, uh, that's usually not good for an engine. So, what I'm thinking it is, is that it's like where the, um, the shaft comes out, there's a seal in there, and then all around the crank case, there's a seal, and I'm thinking that seal blew either on the shaft or around the, th the guy, and it puked out all the oil. And that, that's like a $15 fix. You buy the seal kit and stab it in and you're done. And I watched a video on how to do that, and I also looked at, like I said before on a, on a previous video, I looked at a rebuild on those, because I wanted to see, like, how do you replace the springs on the valves, and, you know, not like I need to. And the guy literally did a full performance upgrade to a six and a half horse. He deleted the governor, which apparently is an inside job. There's a thing inside you got to remove. He uh, replaced the flywheel with a billet flywheel. He did the valves and springs with uh, better valves and tighter springs. So I guess you don't get valve float. And what else did he do to that thing? I can't remember now. Anyway, the engine was awesome. Uh, apparently when you do uh, the biggest problem with those engines and the reason why they don't want you to delete the governor is because the flywheel will come apart. And these new modified flywheels are lighter and they're stronger. Apparently he solved that problem. So, cool. 
Do I plan on beefing it up? No, I just want to be able to get black bike running again so I can fucking ride the thing. So Sunday Rex and I are going to take a day trip to Sudbury. Go pick that shit up. Uh, mainly the main thing I want to get, like I said, is the helmet, the engine. Well, if I get it, cool. If I don't, whatever. Uh, I'm supposed to get that 8-horse off of Iron Man, but uh, we haven't really discussed much of it. So I figured, frig it, I better get myself an engine because mini bike season is around the corner. Probably in the next two months we'll be able to go out and ride. And um, red bike's slow as fuck. So I kind of want to be able to keep up with Rex and them. So is that your new favorite spot, Scampers? Scampers. Is that your new favorite spot to sleep? Hmm? Little kitten? Your favorite spot to sleep? Meow. Anyway, I'm gonna make some dinner. Cause I'm freaking hungry. Freaking cover's starting to get all cluttered up again. Got shit on it. Knives and a box of Monster and rice spoon and freaking gotta do my dishes and other things and stuff and free it. I'm gonna have some pork chops, some rice, it's gonna be awesome. Yay, it's time for unsupervised cooking. That's why I love the air fryer and rice cooker. I can make a meal without paying attention. Nice. I just heard my food beeper. I just saw my puppy whoopy. There's my kitty witty. Yeah, she's looking kind of rough. We're gonna give her some cat food, some wet food. You want some wet food? Hey, Stumpy, kitten. Falling asleep from the pets. <laughs> uh, I gotta get her some wet food next time I go for groceries. I know what she likes. But uh, yeah, I heard my food beepers go off, so let's make a plate. Yummy! Let's go eat. Well, I stayed up a little later tonight. It's currently one in the morning, and uh, we tried to do a live stream of Grand Theft Auto, but Sony's being a piece of shit, and it didn't work. Kept crashing, so I said, "Fuck it." We just played games anyway. But uh, I'm going to shut the vlog down here, people. I'm not sure what we're going to get up to tomorrow. We're just going to wing it again and go from there. So hopefully you enjoyed today's flyer day. Let me know what you thought of that format. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll talk to you tomorrow. So thanks for coming out. Like, favorite, and comment on the video. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.